I am building the drawers today. I got the bottom piece cut out. It fits perfect. I left a 1 8 gap on each side. So it is a quarter inch shorter than the actual width of the opening. But the tailgate on this truck, it sits up a little bit like this. So that's gonna affect the height of the drawers. So if this is pushed all the way back, if I, guys, sorry about the wind noise, if there is any, it is absolutely windy today, which is why we're working on the camper build. We did go fishing yesterday. If uh, you wanna see some fishing footage, here is that. All right, me and Devin just got down to the docks. All my other rods are in my boat, so I just grabbed the two trout rods I had in my room. So today we're going ultralight. This is four pound test. We'll see if we can catch something. If we do, it's gonna be fun no matter what size it is. All right, let's drop down. Feels tiny. Look <laughs> at my pole bin, because I'll show that. <laughs> Decent walleye, dude. Dude, it still has the bladder blown. That was slow. Well, first, first fish in a while. Nice little walleye. Who wants it? Anyone want it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Thank you, bro. No problem. They got teeth, man. They got teeth. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. There's number two. So deep. Little guy. On the minnow again, dude. Yeah, buddy. Oh, thank you. Is your mama out here? Yeah. What size of line do you got? I think this is like six. Six. Heck yeah. Oh, I can let him go. He didn't blow it out. Oh, good deal. Yeah, it looks good. Give us that nice release. There he goes. He gone. He gone. Fishing is, uh, it's slowly getting there. It's not there just yet. We went the next day after that day and it was so freaking windy dude it was like 26 miles per hour and it is trash so didn't catch anything that day and today it's windy again so we're just going to be building these boxes and working on the truck camper i'll probably go a quarter inch shorter just to avoid any uh slide-in issues We got the pieces for the box cut out and now we just need to assemble it. All right, so I got the box all built out. It fits perfectly. It slides out nice and neat. So the thing about this is to make this work, I'm gonna have to put some pieces of angle right in here. Right now, I kind of just have these pieces placed in there, but I'm gonna get a full piece that will go all the way to the back, rivet these down, and then the box will sit on that, and that will make it level with this. And also that is how it slides out and avoids the tailgate being like this. So that makes it all perfect. I'm gonna go ahead 
and uh, get some paint on this but I went ahead and sanded down the edges so it's nice and neat you won't ever hurt yourself or your hand on any of these edges and then once I paint it as well that will get nice and smooth I also picked the best sides to be inside the box and on the outside like this will be seen once you pull it out so I want that side to be super nice same over here super nice and then right here is a nice clean face but as you can see back here it's ugly but that will never be seen because this side is inside the box I'm using just really cheap plywood and tripping over plywood but I'm using really cheap plywood to build these boxes because have you seen wood prices right now it's crazy but uh I don't expect this to be super super nice I am making it as nice as I can with what I got so uh yeah it's it's getting there we got a box I was thinking about doing dividers but first I want to see what I keep inside this box and then we'll worry about the dividers so let's uh move this back down over here and slap some paint on it all right so I just added another coat of paint on this and it already looks so much better but I forgot to drill a hole in this for the handle to be able to pull it out so that sucks I'm gonna have to wait for all this paint to dry completely and then drill the hole out that way the sawdust doesn't stick to the wet paint but yeah just a little quick mistake I made but we'll get it done we'll get it taken care of all right so we got that box made now we need to make a box for the side this box is going to be smaller for right in there guys I'm not gonna build this third box because I may be making a L-shaped cabinet. The cabinet's gonna start here, go up, we already talked about that, shoot all the way back, and then that was gonna be the original cabinet, but now I'm thinking about shooting it back and then going back across this way. It will be more storage over in this area here. We will lose this door over here, but it's okay because I can leave that open and then still have all that storage space. We'll just have to open the cabinet that's here and then shove stuff back in it through the cabinet door. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm not really sure. I haven't even ordered the stuff yet just because I'm not sure what size I need. Like the stove top, the sink. I want a pretty decent size and deep sink in here. So I really need to start figuring out the plan for this side before I can really order that stuff. But also I wanna order that stuff to get it in now or as soon as possible so I can start building and working on the cabinet. So. Let's go ahead and get these first two drawers built out. So I am in the back of the truck and uh, I'm gonna make another change to the whole plan here. It's been nothing but constant changes, but uh, this is a good one. So first off, what I need to do is, so as I mentioned, I want a sink in here. I'll explain why whenever I'm actually installing the sink. I don't wanna constantly be repeating myself in these videos, but I want a sink. And my original plan was to have the cabinet start right here, but that left me about, hard to kind of tell, maybe 13, 14 inches. And the sinks I saw, they, they some started at 12 inches, but they weren't very big. So, and then some started at 15 inches. With the sink, I can't put the sink over this because it will drop down, obviously, right? So this back of the sink will have to be hitting this if I want it as close as possible to this area. So what I'm thinking is actually, taking this off and starting the cabinet right here instead of here. So that will give me that extra four and a half inches of space for just countertop area. We are losing this kind of crawl space area of open space here, but it's still enough space. My main worry about shortening the crawl space here was actually the drawers over here. So the drawers here have to slide out. First off, what I did was I measured the size of this drawer and they are 19 and a half inches to be flush with this i was worried about losing drawer space if i did this if i shortened this i was afraid that this drawer wouldn't be able to come out all the way but if we go 19 and a half inches to right here where the cabinet is going to start that is how much the drawer can come out so there's only about three and a half inches still inside but you can still see it so we can still easily store stuff in the back of this drawer, easily get to it, mess with it. So uh, that is awesome, worked out perfect. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to widen the cabinet area, make it wider for more space for a sink and more space for the stove top as well. So 
we're going all out in this build guys if this is going to be a basic build but it's going to have everything that i need to pretty much survive out in the wilderness if i want to take a trip say we go to colorado for a week straight i could live in the back of this truck and uh easily do it so so i'm happy everything works out we can go ahead and continue to make these three boxes here with no problems guys let me tell y'all something real quick let me show y'all a way better way i should have done this bed platform so i did the drawers to slide out and then slide out that way but what i should have done is made this entire bed right here the lid so instead of the drawers having to slide out and that's how you access all your stuff i should have made this a lid where it flips up and then uh that's how you have access to all your storage that way you don't have to slide nothing out you don't have to worry about like uh other things getting in the way of this so keep that in mind guys if you're gonna build a uh, sleeping platform or, or something in the back of your truck that may have been the better option to have this open up of course you'd have to deal with the weight of the mattress pick it up but i don't know it's just something to think about all right so that means we can take this out take that one out now i need to decide if i actually want to still do the l shape i was talking about earlier So it is the next day and I got the finger holes drilled out and also got the last coat of paint on these two drawers. I wish I could end this video with putting them in the truck and showing the finished product, but this paint has to dry. So guys, I'm gonna end the video here. In the next video, I want to get the solar panel installed on top of the truck, get the battery in there, get all that fun stuff done. I also ordered the sink and a few other things for this truck camper. So. Those will be in the mail in a few days. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.